Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. Hey, hopefully everyone's doing well, enjoying the week. Um, for me, I'm definitely enjoying my week, right? The Kind of at the end of summer here, right? The last month, like we said, uh, August. A little crazy that August is already here, but definitely enjoying my week and uh, enjoying my summer as a whole. Um, hey, real quick, you guys got to give me feedback. Let me know whether or not I got a new mic. So everyone said, Bourbon Judge, you need to get yourself a new mic. So I got a new mic. <laughs> Please let me know if you can tell the quality, like in the sound. Um, you can't see the mic, but it is definitely here for sure. And um, I listened to uh, several different people gave me different recommendations. So definitely a new mic. Let me know what you think of it. Hopefully the quality of the sound is crystal clear and you're enjoying it, um, you know, which is the most important thing. All right. So what are we going to review today? We're going to go ahead and check out Kirkland's bottled in bond so uh rewind a little bit gosh this is going back maybe like a month ago i review the kirkland small batch so and let me just kind of give a quick cliff notes version so this year 2021 kirkland slash costco decided to partner with barton 1792 you guys all know the bourbon judge loves himself since 1792 and i review the small batch this bad boy here so this one 20 dollar bottle um really good goes down very nice very just it's a, it's a really good product as a whole day in day out for 20 bucks for a full liter you know what you're getting in this bottle which is cool right the next thing about this bottle is the fact that it's a really good daily sipper so you can sip it every day have a little bit have a lot i i echo more on, i i echo more on the side of a lot <laughs> um you can have a lot of it you can share it with friends you know, they can throw it in mixed drinks. It's the kind of bourbon that, even though it's really good quality, you can also share it with like a lot of friends, like in, like in, let's call it, if you have like a, you know, a ton of people over and so forth, and you really want to kind of enjoy, you know, people maybe even diving into like some mixed drinks and so forth. This is one at 20 bucks. You're like, yeah, mixed drink all day long. Go ahead, grab my Kirkland small batch. Okay. They also are putting out a bottled and bond as well as a single barrel. So today, we're gonna dive into the bottle and bond. I will say, now a little secret, I'm gonna give you two secrets. One I shared in the last episode, and I'll put the link up above, but like I shared in the last episode, many Costco's, you do not need a membership to buy liquor. I'm not saying that for every single state, let's just be clear, I'm not the Costco police, but I'm just giving you a feedback from my own research. Most Costco's, you do not need a membership to actually buy liquor. Second little tip for you, the um, single barrel, which should be obviously like a barrel proof, is actually supposed to be coming out in the next one to two weeks, at least locally here in the Northeast, in the Delaware location. And I, I also heard for other states as well. And the last little bit of advice that I heard, so this is a third tip, I'm hooking you guys up. The third tip, according to my Costco, just my Costco only, they're telling me that once this bottle and bond is released, and as well as the single barrel, once they're released, that is it for 2021 they're not coming back later in the year again that is just according to my local delaware costco i don't know if that's factual but that's what my uh contact the manager there told me so all right let's go ahead and pour this bad boy Ugh. all right so this one here um comes in at 25 bucks again for a full liter you really can't go wrong to me i want to see whether or not if this is two things number one I'm pretty sure it's a buy. I'm pretty sure, right? I mean, it's a 1792 product. You guys and gals know the Bourbon Judge loves himself, himself some 1792 products. But number one, is it a buy? And more important, how similar is it compared to this bad boy, the true 1792 bottled and bond branded product? I know, you're, if, if, if you have a really good eye, you might be catching something. Bourbon Judge, the majority of all, 1792 bottles their caps are typically gold this is not a gold cap what is going on prepping for this episode i uh try to you know uh, just pull it out and i broke it it's just 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 bad luck i don't know so i broke it but luckily i was able to get it out it didn't damage the bourbon i used my little uh my wine cork and i got it out so good to go i luckily just finished last night actually oddly enough a bottle of um Sagamore Spirits. So I fi finished a bottle of Sagamore Spirits. And uh, so you'll see here the Sagamore cap. 
So if you ever break a uh, bottle, bottled and bond or any 1792 cap, just know that the uh, Sagamore cap goes quite well in a uh, 1792 product. So uh, thank you very much, uh, Sagamore, for helping out 1792. Technically, you kind of helping out the Bourbon Judge. All right, I'm gonna pour this one too because, like I said, I want to see. Oh goodness gracious! I dropped the cap. Wow, tough times, tough times in the Bourbon Judge household. Obviously, this is telling me to go ahead and drink it. I'm gonna leave that cap down there, being that I dropped it. But uh, this is definitely telling me that I need to sip and enjoy this 17 inch product. So let's go ahead and dive into the bottled and bond first. All right, $25 for a bottled and bond product. Let's give a high level overview of a bottled and bond. So a couple of things. Number one, age at least four years in a government controlled warehouse always coming in at exactly 100 proof um, and all of the distillate needs to come from that actual season right so everything that's uh, that's actually um that's actually distilled within that season everything needs to come from that season and then age at least four years at 100 proof folks we are talking about a 25 dollar product i mean 25 dollar product for a 1792 product it's kirkland it has to be good. The question is, is it the exact same as that bad boy? Let me not break my glasses. I'm sorry about that. I don't need to drink glass. That's not really a good thing. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and dive into that color. So color-wise, actually, I'm going to grab these together. Let's just have some fun. Color-wise, they are the exact same. That very nice, light, golden brown. Beautiful. All right. Um... Exactly. Let's just get into the nose. So I will say, mm, I like I do like this nose a lot, though I really do. This is a very like quintessential 1792 nose. It really is, honestly. Tons of like vanilla, tons of honey, and the number one thing that just screams out those banana notes. I mean, really scream out in the nose. It really does. Oh my gosh, this is just so 1792. But I love that. I really do. Because at least I know what I'm getting, right, from a quality standpoint. All right. Before I uh, go ahead and uh, throw this down the palette, I just want to say three quick favors. I need some help. Number one, please hit the like button. Number two, please drop me a comment. I love going back and forth. There is nothing better. The reason why, honestly, why I do this channel is to be able to kind of connect with people. I love all the comments. I love going back and forth. Please drop me a comment. And last but not least, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way, whenever I'm publishing videos, you get a quick update. So please make sure you also hit the subscribe button as well. With that, as I say each and every week, peace, cheers, salute. I appreciate everyone out there. Salute, everyone. Mm. Woo. Mm. That is 1792 all day, all night. Wow. That is true bottled and bond. It's like the quintessential perfect bourbon. Everything from the nose transfers to the palate. Tons of, gosh, I mean, honestly, really, this screams tons of banana. A little bit of like, you know, some, some vanilla in there, some honey. But for the most part, this really screams banana. Traditional 1792 right here. Let me go ahead and cleanse my palate real quick. Palate. That's like I was in this, like a southern boy. Palate. <laughs> Let me just change it up. Let me just cleanse the palate real quick. Now, it's time to see how different or similar is it compared to this bad boy. All right. 1792 bottled and bond. Mm. All right. Okay. Hmm. There's a little bit left. Let me just get to the nose too, just to try this one out. Hmm. So the key difference between the two. Hold on. Let me just finish this real quick. Hmm. All right. Got it. Very simple. There are some minor tweaks, some minor difference. The key difference, this picks up more honey, caramel, 
with banana in the background. This one here, right? The Kirkland bottle and bond, obviously same proof, 100 proof for both of them, of course. The Kirkland version is way more banana forward. So if you love the banana forward in a traditional bourbon, or especially in this case, a uh, 1792 bourbon, you will love, and I mean love, the Kirkland product. This one, I got a little drop there, left in there, so I'm not gonna leave that, you guys know me, no way. Wow, same finish, but the palette, finish is definitely steady, but the palette is way more uh, banana focused. If you like a maybe softer, honey, caramel finish, I would go for this one, 1792 standard bottle and bond, but for $15 more, a little bit more bananas and a full liter versus 750 milliliters, you cannot go wrong with the Kirkland bottle and bond. This is fantastic. If you're asking me, bourbon judge, A, is it a buy? Of course, it's a buy. Which one do I prefer better or more? Oh, now that's a better question. Damn. Okay. All right. I got to be honest with you guys. I'm always going to keep it real with you. I prefer 1792 bottled and bond uh, better. Here's the reason why. This is very banana forward, and I think it's it's basically 99% of this, right? It really is. This one in the palette is just a bit more well-rounded, a bit more vanilla, bit more caramel and a bit more traditional overall well-rounded bourbon this one i thought was very very good it just screams banana right which is okay if you really love bananas but if you want a very well-rounded bourbon and obviously you're getting a little bit you're paying a little bit more getting a little bit less i would go with the 1792 bottle and bond again that's just the bourbon judge just me how i roll um but you really can't go wrong with either one right this is a buy, and of course this is obviously a buy, but this is a buy all day long. Great products, again, from Costco, care of, courtesy of 1792 Barton. Folks, like I say each and every week, I appreciate you guys and gals out there. Peace, cheers, salute. Thank you very much for always watching the channel. Talk to you guys soon. Later. Bourbon family, what is going on, everybody? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Um, Costco, Kirkland, technically, I guess it is technically Kirkland, Kirkland product for Costco. <laughs> um, let me start over because that was just a <laughs> Oh my gosh. I should add this to the outtake. I'm going to add this to the outtake. Outtakes. You got to do it. It's kind of just funny. Um, <laughs> gosh, I'm like laughing for no reason. <laughs> All right, I'm definitely going to add this to the outtake. I got to do it. <sighs> Still laughing. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, sometimes you got to laugh at yourself. You really do. <laughs> oh shit. All right, let me <laughs> come back and be serious. All right. <laughs>